hi lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel and first things first if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do so and if you have thank you so much and thank you for watching the videos thank you for continuing to support me it really means a lot to me and i wanted to do this video because i do get asked about my curly hair or my wavy hair quite a lot I do have wavy hair which is right in the middle of my mom's straight hair and my dad's curly hair so I kind of inherited like wavy hair um, and I hated it I hated it for the longest time growing up um, especially in Melbourne and especially back in when was it early 2000s when straight hair was all the rage I think I must have spent thousands of dollars and countless hours trying to straighten my hair um, permanent straightening um, but didn't last my one straightening attempt lasted like three days um, I just will have gotten a blow dry um, and just you know straighteners after straighteners whichever was the best I would get it and I would just keep straightening my hair and it was like a few years ago that I really came into my um, natural hair and really started loving it um, the beach waves were in and um, I realized I had those beach waves and uh, I don't know whether they're out now but I've never um, gone back to wanting dead straight hair all the time yes you know for a particular look or um, a particular outfit that's fine but as far as embracing my natural hair goes I've loved having beach waves and uh, basically this is how I do it it's very simple every single morning I do it um, this is a very like elaborate way to get my beach waves but usually I just do it in like two steps I don't do all four steps but I do have a shoot that I'm getting ready for so the elaborate steps were um, for that purpose as well as for you guys so um, I sometimes do stop at step one or step two and that's enough you know for daily wear that's more than enough and um, another thing I do overnight guys is so right Right now it's really wavy it's really kind of full and voluminous but um, it does tend to drop it does tend to um, lose the waves sometimes so what I do overnight is always have it in a braid and open it the next morning and voila we're back to that beautiful big beach waves so um, yeah that's my hair routine it's really simple it's really straightforward anyone can do it um, and I hope you guys like it so I start off by drying my hair and I kind of just push the towel into the hair because I really don't want to rub my hair with the towel. It kind of damages and frizzes out the hair even further. And once that's done, that's how it looks when my hair is kind of almost dry. And onto the products now. I use a tall drink of water by Javal and some argan oil. You can use any product and this is a leave-in conditioner and I've used quite a few. Uh, none of the products that I'm showing today are you know, paid for or any kind of promotion or ad. These are paid for by me and things that I love just because they work. So the leave-in conditioner just kind of goes into the hair I tend to scrunch it up a little bit as well while I'm adding it into the hair and again I avoid rubbing I don't know why I just think it's uh, not great for the hair so scrunch it and apply it then we go in with the argan oil I add just a teeny tiny teeny bit because I do find that the hair does get oily for me so it's just like a pea-sized drop um, but depending on your hair volume and your thickness of hair you can kind of um, customize this to fit you but for me a pea-sized uh, amount is just perfect so that goes into the hair as well again no rubbing just kind of scrunch it into the hair and you know if I weren't making this video this is how I would do it so I just thought I'll show you that as well next is Kern's Keratin Smooth Too Faced Spray which is also like a oh god uh, which is also like a um, defrizzing um, spray leave-in condition type of thing. I bought this when I couldn't refill my Javal um, leave-in conditioner and I just find it now to be like a great addition on top of the Javal um, leave-in conditioner so I quite like it. Next is my absolute fave way wave spray and I love it. I love it so much and then I have a sea salt spray as well 
Way has been so good to my hair and really gives you that beach wave. Oops. <laughs> and just a little spritz for daily wear because um, it can be really hard to find in Sri Lanka. So I try not to waste it. And then we have the sea salt spray. And that really gives you the beach waves, like literally. So there it goes. The reason for the flyaway is the fan being on, guys. Otherwise, my hair kind of just nicely falls and voila so guys that's it that's the entire hair routine it's super simple super straightforward and if i can do it you guys can do it for sure and i think it's really wonderful that we embrace whatever we're naturally given because there's so much beauty in all of it the girls who have curly hair i want it the girls who have really beautiful straight waterfall like hair i want it too so um but I appreciate it for what it is and I embrace what is mine, what I'm given. And we can always style it a particular way and we can always sort of um, experiment and have fun with it. It's not like you're stuck with this hair. But it's also really great to kind of know how to enhance your natural hair or natural beauty or natural skin and kind of work with it because at the end of the day, it's what we have, right? So lovelies, thank you for joining me. I just want to say thank you so much for all the love again. And keep spreading that love. The world needs it right now. Stay safe, stay blessed. Much love.